Hello, welcome. This is Beverly Fells Jones, the Silver Fox of Consciousness, and welcome to my day of cooking. I went shopping, and one of the things I always look for is that when things are marked down, and in this day and age, that is something that we all are probably looking at. And I particularly look for markdown of mushrooms and I've got another video out there of dehydrating them but today I'm going to talk about a recipe that I have been doing for over 30 years and it's from the Julia Child's French cooking cookbook. I got introduced to this recipe from a chef that I had hired during oh I think it was our fifth anniversary and he came to our house to cook and he made a dish using mushrooms now this dish is called Ries Duxel it is rice with mushrooms and this is a go-to recipe for me not only for using it for rice but for other things so when I get a discount or find the mushrooms discounted I buy all of them that they have so other than dehydrating them I'm going to show you this recipe that I use and I take part of it to make the rice and I take part of it to freeze for later dishes. This is a fairly easy recipe so let's get started. The recipe for a half pound of finely diced fresh mushrooms, two tablespoons of butter, a tablespoon of oil, one to two tablespoons of minced shallots or green onions or onion, salt and pepper to taste, one or two tablespoons more of butter or two to three tablespoons of parsley. Now, if you've watched my videos before, you know that I tend to modify my recipes. So in this recipe or the way I make it is I get the mushrooms, I dice them up, I use onions, I use a lot of butter, and I'll use pepper. So in this case, I've got a nice fresh red pepper that I'm going to be using in this recipe. One of the first that you want to do is to chop up the mushrooms. And so since I have so many, I'm going to be using my food processor to chop them up. Now they'll get fairly fine. Now one of the things that Julia Child recommends is that you take and you put the mushrooms in a towel and squeeze out the juice, the liquid. Now you can take that liquid and use it for other things. I skip this step. I do not take extract or juice. I just chop them up and then I add them to the frying pan. Now that the mushrooms are all chopped up, it's time to chop up my onions and my peppers. Add them to the food processor and get them all chopped up to small size. In the meantime, it's time to get the rice started. This is one half cup of par boiled converted rice and I put it in a pot with approximately one and a half cups of water and we put it on the stove to cook while I do the rest of the project. All right, so I've combined the mushrooms, the onions, the, the peppers, and a half a stick of butter in my cast iron frying pan so that I can start the process of cooking them until the water has drained out. Now, right now, they're sauteing really nicely. You see it's bubbling. I'm cooking the mushrooms well. And now this is the part where all the water has cooked down. All right, the rice is done. It's nice and fluffy. Now I'm holding the camera in my hand, so it's like one-handed here. But I'm taking the mushrooms, and I am mixing them in with the rice. Now the thing that I did this time that I don't normally do, I let it 
the the liquid cook down too much so I wound up adding a little butter to the rice in order to give it some more moisture but in essence this is all that it takes in order to make this dish is now you mix the mushrooms in with the rice okay so I've got it mixed up a little bit to take about a tablespoon of butter mixed into this you can, I didn't add any salt. Whoops, thumb is in the way. I didn't add any salt and pepper to this. I'll do this as I taste. This is what's left. I'm going to put these in small containers. So I'll probably put something like this in each container. And when I bring it out, I may need one or two of these, uh, depending on what I'm cooking, but mostly for the rice. If I'm just doing rice, this is all I need. But I'll put those and I'll put them in the freezer and and label them to be pulled out as necessary. And I don't have to, if I'm using it in rice, I can pull it out just when I'm starting to cook the rice to let it unthaw. And maybe heat it up a little bit and mix it in the rice. So this is rice duck, duck salad. And in the oven, I have country ribs, which I'm going to be having with that, and a salad. So that's going to be my dinner. I'll show you a picture of the plate when it is ready. Okay, fuzzy pieces my salad with cucumbers, onions, peppers, lettuce, and so on. And then the roasted country ribs, and I used a, sauce, a spread actually for the sauce roasted pepper appetizer spread and it was really delicious salad's not on the plate but this was a really great meal and i hope you try the restuck cell and put notes down below of whether you liked it or not or if you've ever had it before or not Please be sure to subscribe, hit the bell, share this video, and I will f go and look for the video on dehydrating mushrooms. I think I already put it up there. This is Beverly Fells Jones, the Silver Fox of Consciousness, and as you have believed, let it be done to you. And it is so, and I will see you in the next video.